Welcome to this video, Chirag, from the Local Well Pharmacy Software team. Congratulations on updating your business profile and setting up your payment accounts for your Local Well Pharmacy account. Today, we'll cover my favorite part of the Local Well software, teaching you how to import your supplier's purchase bill into the system easily. To import the purchase bill, first you have to come to the purchase section and here you have to click on the add purchase button or you can land on this page from any page by using our global shortcut control alt p there are three ways to import a purchase bill the easiest is attaching your bills csv file and the software will import and display its information if you don't have a csv request a pdf from your supplier attach it and import the bill if neither option works. By doing this, you can swiftly input the details into the form here, referencing your bill to import it. Let's explore how to import your bill via a purchase CSV file. As shown, I've accessed my email, where I've received a message from Nilmani Pharma. The invoice number is 3774. Looking at the attachment, the supplier sent a CSV and PDF file. I'll download the CSV now, to inform you. I'll display the CSV's appearance post-download. What's a CSV? It's an Excel file listing purchase details in rows and columns, including product name, packaging, batch number, expiry date, MRP, and quantity. All purchase details are in a CSV file. LocalWell allows attaching any billing software file used by your supplier. Attach the file directly, it imports automatically without mapping in seconds. We'll try attaching the imported file now. Our distributor is Nilmani Pharma, we choose them here. And here we go to attach CSV file and select that file here. Now, you'll notice the software displays your product names after reading the file. Initially, these names appear on the left, while the local well product database is on the right, containing roughly 350,000 items. It then presents the closest match in the second column and indicates on the right if the product belongs to you. If the mapping is incorrect, we'll display alternative suggestions here. Look closely and you'll notice markers showing if any product is in your inventory. If absent, a not in stock tag appears. After checking the provided mapping, which is usually accurate, we advise confirming it. Once content with the mapping, proceed. Press the button. Once you click the continue button, you'll notice the software has imported the product name and all related details into the bill, including HSN code, batch number, expiry date, packaging, quantity, MRP, your discount, GST, and more. Additionally, it calculates and shows the margin for this item, your net margin. You'll also observe that some products are marked with a red demarcation here. The red mark indicates expired products. When entering purchases, the software alerts you to any expired items from suppliers. It also shows products nearing expiration. By default, the software displays the products which are expiring in 6 months. But look here, you have been given the option of column setting where if you go under show near expiry and select it in 12 months and save it for distributor, then it will show you the products which are expiring in 12 months. Generally, there is a trend in the pharma line that the retailers do not accept the products which are expiring within here, one year. You can modify the near expiry definition, leading to more products appearing in the near expiry state. You observed how to import a purchase bill quickly with a CSV file. It's noteworthy, if you notice the eye icon, clicking it provides more product information. The picture of it, the name of its company, its schedule nature, drug schedule, it is showing you is a product of schedule H. Get its molecule or salt, MRP, and more. In purchases, view past buys, including the seller. Margins are marked for comparison. Check for substitutes in stock. It shows three mayoral alternatives their amounts and prices. The market indicates the expiry date too. If you have multiple branches, apart from one, you have multiple branches or stores, then it shows you the stock of the product there as well. 
So like it is showing you here that this product was available in my branch of health meter services but now it is out of stock. So in this way you can see that thing as well and along with that you can also see which suppliers of my oral provide you this product in my selected district, my police station district. It's nearby. You can view that info here too for any product settings adjustments. Just click on setting and you can update details such as location for the product category from here. We've explored importing purchase bills via CSV. Another method involves using a PDF file. I'll demonstrate with this PDF. Observe, it appears thus. LocalWell is among the few tools capable of precisely interpreting this PDF, extracting its data, converting it into a purchase bill format, and saving it. Let's do it. Few software match local wells capability. Other programs might exist, yet none match its precision in importing. Consider this PDF. I'll move it to local well. A PDF benefit is its simplicity. No need to choose a supplier. Directly go to the attached PDF and choose it. Once selected, you'll return to the mapping screen, similar to the CSV process. Verify your mapping and click continue. Then, you'll notice your purchase bill is imported. This process is straightforward. You can import your bill from a CSV or directly from a PDF if no CSV is available. These methods allow direct import without manual entry. If you don't have a CSV or PDF, it's still simple. Just enter the information into this form. First, choose the supplier. We choose the district here. Suppose the supplier's district is Pune. Here I searched for my supplier. I can either search them by their name or by my GST number. The second field that is shown to you here is the invoice number. The invoice number or the bill number is mentioned in the printed copy given to you by the supplier. Enter that. Then the invoice date. Today, let's say it's March 28th. When you input the invoice date, it prompts for a payment due date, which is mandatory if the purchase bill remains unpaid. However, the bill was settled in cash or at purchase, this field can be skipped. Moving on from there, you've reached product details. If you looked up a product like Tazlock, it's here. We use Tazlock H40. Once you access the batch, it displays a list of the product's past batches you've bought. If your batch appears, choose one. You'll then view details such as expiry date and packaging. It queries the quantity you bought, meaning the number of strips. Imagine I bought 10 strips and sometimes the supplier offers a scheme for free. If you've bought 10, the company offers a scheme like getting one free with 10. Enter that here. Everyone knows the MRP and the rate, including your PTR, so mention it. Sometimes, the supplier might offer a net scheme or a half price one. You can enter those details here too. For instance, I've input 10 plus 2. This implies the supplier offered a 16.67% discount. Typically, this means a free quantity or a bill adjustment. If there's a scheme, you can enter it here. Next, input any discounts here. If there's a cash discount from the supplier, include it. Enter the GST rate from your bill. Then, you'll see the margin display. Upon entering, add the product. I forgot to mention something. No need for the mouse to navigate these fields. Pressing enter on your keyboard works. Imagine selecting a different product. If you pick Tazlock AM40, advance in the feeds with enter and use shift plus tab to go back. The shift plus tab shortcut allows moving through the fields by pressing enter and shift plus tab. No need for the mouse. Next, it's selected here. You picked the amount, reviewed the plan and then added it. Now, let's pick another item. I've chosen Dolo 650 and it's added. The product is added with its batch number. You've input the quantity, hit enter and it's included. Thus, you can swiftly enter products manually as well. Once all the items of your bill are added and you have matched the total amount with the hard copy of your purchased bill, once satisfied, you just have to click on the save button here. After saving, you'll get to add payment details. Two choices appear, a cash purchase if paid, or a credit one if not. Select one. We'll opt for credit. Upon entry, your bill appears added. Once the purchase bill is entered, the stock items will begin to show up.
notice dolo as lock and as lock h are now under stock thus adding a purchase also includes the supplier and bill number the software indicates you owe 1965 rupees it will enter this into your bill calculate the payment and count the products automatically adding them to your stock the software handles these tasks so in this way you can very easily enter your purchase bills in local well thank you